Kieran Gill, the start of the season at Utsal on Sunday. Is this a chance to show all the hard-working pre-season out there on the field? Um, definitely, yeah. You know, uh, I was just speaking to Moff out there, just saying how long this pre-season's felt. It's been um, a very, I'd probably say, characterised um, pre-season this year. You know, bunch of new faces, just trying to get an understanding of what everyone's about just getting the feeling back and uh, I'd like to say it's been a positive start to 2023 so far, yeah. When you look at the Bradford Bulls on this, what's going to be a new journey in 2023, there has been wholesale change, departures and incomings. Um, how has that felt, somebody who was here last year? Um, positive feelings, to be fair with you. Um, even the back group, back backroom staff there's been uh, changes as well so I think they've all been positive you can you can always leave a footstep in 2022 but for us I think instead of taking one step forward we've took a couple of steps forward to promote as 2023 campaign and I think it should show on the start on Sunday yes as somebody who was here last year when you talk about cultural change you've obviously experienced last year and this year how important was it you know that that culture did change here at the club um i think we've just brought in more level-headed um senior players you know and making sure that we all have the same vibe around camp before training after training uh we're making sure that we're sticking together we're being socially active together, always talking, going for coffees after training, before training. It's just making sure that you've got a real tight-knit group and that's what shows on the field. Everyone wants to be in it together from minute one to minute 80. If it's a fourth tackle, fifth tackle, every tackle counts and you don't slip up. And I think everyone's brought into that vibe that we push each other as much as we can. And I think during this pre-season, it's probably been the toughest pre-season I've had since starting my professional career and I think it, it should show for sure on Sunday and it, it should show throughout the year. A big crowd's expected against Whitehaven at Odsall. A lot of hard work's gone on behind the scenes to try and generate this record championship opening day, opening day crowd. How important is it that players like yourself play your part on the occasion with that performance on the field? I think for me it's it's the enjoyment part of it as well, you know, credit to staff behind the scenes who has been promoting it and um, I think it's something that we need to give back to the fans and the club in general to make sure we, we kick start 2023 to how we want to end it. We ended it on a on a low last year and we need to make sure that we kick start all guns blazing the first month right through to the last month and making sure that each and every game we perform to the highest of our standards. And for me, I think it's just making sure that I match everyone else's standards. Um, I've had a I've had a good pre season. I feel a lot fitter. I've lost a bit of weight to make sure that I'm doing every one percent right instead of doing the casual ninety eight percent. I want to make up that two percent and push myself as much as I can making sure even if I'm not getting the ball, I'm doing things off the ball, just creating opportunities, making sure I'm talking, just being a bit more vocal and being a bit of a leader on the side as well because that's what I like to class myself as. Last season, 18 tries, Bradford's top try scorer. What are your goals and ambitions for this season? Um, I said it last year in regards to setting goals. I, I don't like setting goals regarding tries, but... I'd like to say that I want to beat whatever I did last year. I think the only goal I'm wanting to stick at and what I said to Dunno is I want to be trying to play every game once again. I niggled my way through a few injuries last year and I was playing it around a 6 to 8 out of 10, but I want to do the best for the team and I want to do the best for myself. I'm thriving to just be the best I can be and push myself no matter what. I keep speaking about where I want to be to my friends, my family. I want to aim high and I think I, I can still achieve that. So this year for me, it's another stepping stone and I want to just 
push push myself as much as I can. You've mentioned you feel fitter, that improved fitness. Do you feel that's going to really benefit you this year? Because I know at times when we spoke last year, it almost felt like you were being held together by blue tack, sellotape and super glue. No, you're right, yeah. There were times where I was having to get injections in my ankle and in my shoulder just to push me through the game because of the pain I were in. You know, I'm working 45 hours a week and then training on top of that. It just does take a lot of toll on your body. Physically and mentally, to be fair with you, there's times I come into training and I, I do struggle, but it's better to be around the lads to make sure that I can push myself to where I want to be. And I've I've spoke to my family about it as well. Like I don't want to settle just for being good. I want to I want to be the best. And for me, it's making sure that the number four spot that I'm in, I, I cement that for team at year for this year and I just want to keep pushing myself as much as I can and try and prove to everyone and even the fans that that's where I want to be. Obviously competition for places is, is going to be fierce this season. Um, some young players coming through, none other than Jaden Myers, he's going to be like thinking, well, I want Kieran Gill, I want Joe Arundel's centre spot. No, you're correct and uh, I think that's what pushes and thrives me even more because I've been with him, Max Clark, throughout pre-season and I can see what potential that they do have. They've been training excellent, to be fair with you, and if they do get a shot, I think they'll grab it with both hands. But for me, it's making sure that I'm taking myself to the next step also and putting the ball in Dunno's court and making sure that I don't have to make him make a decision. It's just set on me. And I want to make sure that I'm doing that week in, week out, where he's not having to debate, should I, should I rest him for a week or does someone else deserve an opportunity for me? I want to make sure that that centre spot is mine all year. It's no secret Bradford struggled at home at times last season. Has there been any talk amongst the players? Matt Dunning, Lee Greenwood, the coaching staff, we want to make Hutzel Stadium a fortress in 23. Yeah, there is to be fair with you, but we've, we've said that we want to keep it behind closed doors in regards to the statement that we want to do at Hutzel. Everyone knows it, it was poor form last year. There were a few tough games on there, but I think this year we've, we've just set it behind closed doors where we know our realistic goals, achievements that we want to do. So we don't need to tell anyone what our goals are. I think it's just about time that we prove what we can do. There's a lot of optimism around the club, certainly amongst the, the fan base. Are, are, are you picking up any of that? I try to avoid it as much as I can, to be fair with you, because even though there's positivity, it comes with a lot of negativity at the same time. And if you don't have your say, around the team it's hard for the fans to be involved in i have a lot of respect for everyone because they pay our wages at the end of the day and for me it's it's what we do on the field that they appreciate if we perform week in week out then it's going to attract more fans it's going to bring old fans back and that's the main thing that we want to do you know we want to grow the fan base, even though the fan base is amazing and how many fans that we've got in attendance, I think we, we strive on wanting to bring more people in. That's why we're pushing for the record at the start of this year, you know. We've got Whitehaven on Sunday, so get yourself down. It's just one of them. Making sure that we're doing the best we can for Bradford as a city as well. Let's get everyone down, juniors are free. Bish, bash, bosh. <laughs> yeah, let's just do what we can.